Cheers, Bob. Now you know the Reverend Show is going to be apples where ice is concerned, because when it comes to in car entertainment, this guy is as cunning as a dummy rat. Big Mr. Phil, how are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. Now, I'm sure you're as busy as a lizard drinking, so let's crack on. What are we going to look at this week? We're going to look at slightly more money this week, about £2,000. £2,000, because last week, 500 quid. What you get there is obviously better quality components. Right, that's the uh, crossover. That's the crossover. Right. There's the speaker. Wow. Nice car that's chassis. Beautiful. You see that, guys? Carbon so, fibre cones. Just all made. Just a lot better components, right, yeah. obviously giving you a lot better sound. Wow. The same with the amplifier. Bigger and better that's amplifiers. Baby. More power, better components. What sort of price are we looking at for looking this Looking at thing? about £800 for that one amplifier. All again, gear to give you more sound, more exactly, bass. Exactly. Going on to the bass, you obviously need... Wow, monster sub. Monster. What you like. So these are built to withstand a good hiding. Wow. Take plenty of power. Ooh, it's a work of art. Nice uh, aluminium cone, butyl rubber. Butyl and obviously, what? Butyl rubber. What does that do? It doesn't break up as nice as ah, it doesn't okay. break up like okay. a nice cheap rubber. Now, does. stay on the sub. Yep. Last week, we had this little baby. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, how much was this one? That was 125. And that one is? This is 289 pounds. Why the difference? Well, there's, this one will take more power. It's built slightly. I mean, that's steel. This is a car chassis. You've got right. binding posts. Bigger magnet, bigger spider assembly. So again, just, just a lot more work on involved. Let's have a look at that. Wow, that is superb. That's a beauty. So the bigger the sub, more the base. More base. Right, what else are we going to look at in the car? We're going to see. At this week? level, we then jump into the multimedia. Ah, we're talking TVs and games exactly. consoles. Yeah. Something like this, which is a motorised screen, which will show your navigation, your DVD player, TV tuner. Pretty much all any, in any car. yeah, all in the car. That's fine. Let's see it. Let's see. Yeah, it no, we've got in. one out there. If you want to go and have a look, superb. Wow, ten inches. Wow, look at that. A gorgeous three series. What a coupe? That's beautiful. The real beauty is what we've done on the install on the inside. Right, let's have a captain then. A what? Captain Cook. A look. Open the bloody door. Right, let's have a peek. Well, I can see the head unit, Phil, but where's the screen? Here it comes. Ah, oh, wow, so it folds away so the scallies can't see it when you're parked up. Yep. It's really neat. Can I hear it in this car? Not a problem. Wow, that's superb. Loads of bass coming from there. Where's the whereabouts of the sub situated in this car? They're just behind the seat here. Ah, oh, okay, tucked away then. They're behind the seat. Does that not restrict the sound? No, we've cut the ski hatch open so it vents through the ski hatch. Superb, really neat job. What about the, the amps? Where are those? Now they're all in the boot. Ah, oh, let's have a look at those, mate. Wow. No way. That's sexier than the cast of neighbours in there. Now, I recognise that amp from when we were in the shop, but why have we got these other two here, Phil? Got one on each of those subs that were behind the seats, so we got more power. One amp per sub? One amp per sub. Wow! And then that four channel, we've bridged it left and bridged it right into a two channel. So, we've just got a boot full of bass and, and power. Power. Yeah? Anything else in here? One more little surprise for you. Tucked away in there, what's it gonna be? Ah, it's not what I think it is, is it? Is a games wow, console. Wow, games console. All again running off the front screen. Yep, that's the that's one. That's totally fantastic. Right, we're obviously talking major biscuits here. What are we looking at cost wise? £6,000. £6,000. But I guess if you don't drink or, or smoke. Ah, what the bloody hell have you just loaded, yeah? What a great piece of kit to have. Indeed. Right, let's have a look at the rundown. So, the best parts of our beautiful beam are the lovely screen games console and those huge subs and the whole lot's fitted in leather. Total cost for this one a little over six grand. Hey, I'll be back next week with more Butte installs. See ya.